how to install an M.2 solid state drive into a desktop computer. Although there are a few factors you'll want to be aware of, this is absurdly easy to do. So let's dive right into this. As with all computer installations, make sure your system is turned off and all of the peripherals and cables are unplugged. Set the chassis on its side and remove the front side panel. There's just a couple of things we have to clarify first. The socket interface and form factor of your M.2 drive. Currently, the most common socket interfaces M.2 drives have are B, M, and B plus M. As for form factor, generally M.2s will either be 2230, 2242, 2280, or 22110. You're going to have to check your motherboard specifications to identify which kinds it supports. Motherboards will only support one kind of socket interface, but they should support multiple form factors. The M.2 drive I'm working with today has an M key socket interface and a 2280 form factor. Now all we have to do is locate the slot you'll be inserting the M.2 drive into. Assuming your motherboard has at least one, it will be in the vicinity of the PCI Express slots, somewhere beneath the heatsink. However, most likely you'll see at least two. On my motherboard, there's one up here and one down here, the latter having a heatsink on top of it. So which one should you install the card into? Well, the short answer is that it doesn't really matter, but usually it's just best to go with the one on top, as this one will typically be, technically, the fastest. But the best thing to do would be to consult your motherboard's manual, as each motherboard tends to be unique. Some slots may support certain types of speeds, and others may not. Your M.2 drive should still work in even the wrong slots, but it may not run as fast as it potentially could. Regardless, I'm going to go with the slot on top. If I went with the bottom one on my motherboard, I'd first have to unscrew the heatsink that's in the way. After installation, I'd screw it back on. As a side note, this motherboard's top slot supports up to the 2280 form factor, but the bottom slot actually supports up to the 22110 form factor. However, again, this is a 2280 drive, so installing it down there would be a bit redundant anyway. Once you've decided on your slot, go ahead and insert the teeth of the M.2 card into it. It's very, very easy to do. Even a virgin could figure it out. Once it's in all the way, you should see it sticking out on an angle, about 30 degrees. It is now ready to screw into the board. If you got your drive new, it should have come with a screw, but if not, go get one. They sell them for typically a little cheaper than the actual drives themselves. They're called M.2 SSD screws, and their diameters are typically anywhere from 1.9 to 2 millimeters. Apply a bit of pressure to the drive, just so it makes contact with the board, and secure it with the screw. Once tight, that's it. The M.2 drive has successfully been installed. There are no drivers, cables, or any additional steps you'll need to make. So long as it's functioning correctly and compatible with your computer, you should see it appear in your system immediately. You're now ready to install your operating system, dump your hundreds of gigabytes of hentai on it, or whatever floats your boat. I really don't give a shit. But just one more thing before I go. What if you want to add a heatsink to your M.2 drive? Good question, and in fact, this wouldn't be a bad idea, because these drives have the tendency to get a little hot. They're not gonna explode on you or anything without one, but M.2 heatsinks are relatively cheap and very easy to install. This one I have pulls apart like an old grilled cheese sandwich. It's comprised of a bottom plate with a thermal pad stuck to it, and then the heatsink housing itself with a thermal pad stuck on the bottom of it. Thermal pads are stupid, they look really cheap, yes, but they get the job done, more or less. This heatsink also has LEDs, which is what this wire is for. But don't worry, you won't need to plug anything in to cool down your M.2 drive. It will work entirely on its own. Simply throw the drive in between the two. Just make sure both the teeth and the screw hole are fully exposed so you can actually connect it and screw it into your motherboard. This heatsink can also optionally be screwed together if you wanted to secure it. But mine didn't come with any screws, so whatever. It's tight enough as it is. I don't care. Go ahead and install it exactly the same way you would if you didn't have a heatsink attached to it. Ta-da! You did it. Congratulations. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something, and feel free to subscribe for more PC tech tutorial videos. And speaking of videos, check out my others if you need help with anything else. Links in the description. Enjoy the slightly faster speed the M.2 drive has in comparison to the solid-state drive that uses SATA connectors and torques out.